Joining us now is Ryan Payne. He's president of Payne Capital Management. And Ryan, when you take a look at the expectations for the S&P next year in 2020, it seems like it's changing all of the time. Where do you see this heading? I mean, Deutsche Bank couldn't go out on a limb here. 3% no. difference. They held like, it safe. Yeah, I just want to meet a, a provocative economist, and it's never going to happen. I know. I know. They like to play it safe. Yeah. They don't want to call too many, I guess, too many uh, estimates here that could be proven wrong. But yeah. do you see this as a buying opportunity? We see the pullback in the market today, the Dow off over 300 points. Is this an opportunity for investors to get in? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it, the fundamentals really haven't changed here. You know, the economy mm -hmm. is very strong. The consumer is very strong. If you look at Americans' net worth this year, we're up by about 10%. Mm -hmm. So as long as the U.S. consumer is in great shape, that means the economy is in good, good shape. That's good for stocks. So I think you've got to buy the dips here, is long story short. And what do you favor in this type of environment? I just love the foreign markets. I talk about it all the time. But if you look at growth rates for the foreign markets, they're about the same as the U.S. right now, uh, going out the next 12 months or so. Valuations are so cheap. If you look at the emerging markets specifically, and if you want to look at the emerging emerging markets, like the frontier markets, which have actually held up pretty well here with the U.S. market selling off the last couple of days, uh, these are really, in my opinion, buys of a lifetime. And do you think that this bull market, if we don't get a deal on trade, do you think this bull market will be able to continue? I do. I mean, there's a lot of trade. Obviously, there's headline risk like today. No one's feeling very good about the market, but you know, Trump could say something tomorrow that's positive about trade. So I think that noise is definitely going to drive things short term. But again, getting back to fundamentals, they're still really solid. And I think GDP came in better than expected or revised better than expected. I think you're going to see more of that. So yes, I, I think regardless, markets are going to go higher and the economy is going to do well. And President Trump earlier today basically saying that he's not too concerned about the market's day-to-day -day moves, I'm talking about today's uh, sell-off that we have. What do you think? Do you think he's very concerned with the market's day-to-day -day move? Because he loves to brag when the market's doing well. Yeah, yeah I don't believe that. <laughs> I think he definitely uh, you know, checks the pulse of the market to see how he's doing personally. And I think that's another reason why we're going to have to see a deal, because Politically, he definitely needs some sort of deal. I think he's just being provocative here, and he's definitely watching the swings in the market. Ryan, one thing that you said that uh, stuck out to me here, you're saying that the, that the market marches to a new record high, but investors are still making bad decisions. What do you mean by that? Because they're not listening to me when I'm on Yahoo Finance. <laughs> uh, that's one reason. The other reason is I think what you're seeing here is you're still seeing people are very scared. The market's up close to 25% for the year, yet you have like a quarter trillion of dollar, quarter trillion dollars have come out of the market this year. Uh, you have investors sitting in cash, sitting in bonds, funds and they're really missing the boat here and you're not seeing that money come back into the market. So again, as you know, economy continues to be strong and earnings continue to come in better than expected, which I think will happen, that's going to make investors come back into the market. So don't miss this dip here. Start to get your money invested. And what do you think about the taxes on Brazilian and Argentinian steel? Do you think that those are more serious than the French tariffs? Or do you think that that is something that maybe investors are shrugging off at this point? They definitely are shrugging off. And if you look at yesterday, Latin America actually did really, really well in terms of where they're trading. So I think, again, that's more provocation than fundamentals.